Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at the Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and the problem's name is LCS of three strings. So LCS stands for longest common subsequence and we have already solved this question on lead code for two strings but here we have to deal with three strings. So make sure you take a look at the video. I'll leave the link to that video in the description and in the pinned comments. There we solve the question using bottom-up approach and I will explain the intuition and working of how it will happen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this question using top-down approach that is implementing recursion and then applying memoization to avoid repeated recursive calls. So for this question, you know, the answer is geeks because this is the common subsequence and it has the length phi. And in this example, there is no common subsequence. So we return zero as out. Every recursive call, we are having a choice to either take that element or ignore that element. And that element here is the character. So for every character present inside the tree strings, we have to form combinations by either taking that into consideration or ignoring that. So at any point of time, if the characters present at the three indexes are same, we increment the LCS that is the final output integer variable by one and then move the pointers forward. So we're going to use the i pointer to iterate through A, J pointer to iterate through B, and K pointer to iterate through C. So let's dive into the code. Like I said, we have to write a recursive call and we'll return that as the output. So return, I'm going to name that recursive call helper and the parameters are going to be the three strings, A, B, C, and the three pointers. We're starting the three pointers from the zeroth index position. So I need three index pointers and all three of them are going to be starting from zero and now let's declare the recursive function i'm going to name it private and so this is a private static int variable because we have to return int as the output as this will catch an int because we are expecting our int to be our output and i'm going to name it helper and let's define the parameter string a b c so string a comma string b comma string c and then the three pointers i j and k int i int j and int k and every recursive method is going to have an exit condition that is the base condition and what is the base condition and the pointers are starting at zeroth index and if those pointers read the last index there is no more to be checked for the next recursive call so we return zero so if these three pointers i j and k reach the end of its respective strings we return zero so if i is greater than a dot length minus one or if j is greater than b dot length minus one or if k is greater than c dot length minus 1, then we return 0. Now we have to check if the characters at a, b and c, that is the elements pointing at these indexes i, j and k, are same. So how do you check? First you compare the elements pointing at i and j. So if a dot carat of i is equal to b dot carat of j, now we have to compare the element pointing at j and k. So b dot carat of j is equal to c dot carat of k. So if that is the case, we have to increment our variable. So let's declare an int variable, which will be our output. So I'm going to name it LCS and initially it will be zero. So LCS will be incremented by one. LCS is equal to one plus, which is a character pointing at these three indexes. And now we recursively call the helper function again, moving the three pointers forward. So A, B, C and I plus one, plus one, J plus one and K plus one. Moving the three pointers forward. And in the else block, it means the characters pointing at those three indexes are not same. So for example here, these three indexes are not pointing at same characters. So we have to take three different combinations, right? So first we are going to increment i plus 1 to here and j and k will be same. Next we are going to increment j plus 1 and i and k will be same. Next we are going to increment k plus 1 and i and j will be same. And we need to pick the maximum among them and add it inside the LCS variable. So LCS is equal to mat.max and now the three recursive calls. So let me take this recursive call and first i plus 1 will move and j and k will remain the same. And then next recursive call j plus 1 will move and i and k will remain the same. And in the next recursive call i and j will remain same and k will move by 1. But we need to get the max of these three variables. So First, we have to take the max of any two variables. Let's take max of this and compare it with the max of this. So I'll add math.max here again for the last two recursive calls and maximum among these two and we'll compare it with this and we'll get the max among these three. And now finally, we'll return our variable LCS. So this is just the recursive code. 
and this has lot of repetitive calculations and this will give you time limit exceeded error so we have to implement memoization and like I mentioned in my previous videos whenever you want to apply memoization just take the helper function and see which parameters are changing it has six parameters the first three parameters will remain same in every recursive call the last three parameters are changing in these recursive calls so I need to store a 3d array with the i j k n variables and next step we have to check the limits and i j k are pointers for the three strings n1 n2 n3 right this is the length of those three strings and the length is not going to be more than 20 so i create a array of size 21 so 3d array i'm going to name it memo they'll be of the size 21 each and now i have to fill this memo array with minus ones so as to be as an indication that we haven't calculated that value yet so i'll need three nested for loops i j and k where i will start from 0 until 21 and i plus plus same for j and now same for k and now i have to fill the intersection memo of i j k with minus one so i'm filling the entire 3d array with minus ones and now inside the recursive function before performing the recursion we have to check if this value for that index ijk has already been calculated so how can you distinguish so initially we filled the memo array with minus ones if the value is not minus one it means we already calculated and we can use that value so i'm going to check if memo of ijk for the current iteration what are the ijk values for that if that value is not equal to minus one it means we already calculated that value so we can return that value directly so return memo of ijk and if it is minus one it means we haven't calculated that value so i'm going to store that value for that recursive call for the next iterations we can use that value now let's try to run the code so this is capital c let's run the code again so this has to be declared as static because we're using it inside a static function so the members also have to be static the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is big o of n1 n2 n3 where n1 n2 n3 are the lengths of the three strings and the space complexity is also big o of n1 n2 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 n3 because we're using a memo array of 3d length to store our output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video